What now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. Well, not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Molly. Oh, you're gonna catch your death if you don't get warmer clothes. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. Hmm. <laughs> So, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. I ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... He's a strange one. Someone got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it will... Call. Check the house. Shit. This don't look so good. Well, he clearly ain't here, so where is he? Mm. Let's take a look around. This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. You see anything there? Some blood here. That ain't good. Big struggle. Pretty recently, Look. I'd say. I guess Tracks. maybe uh, 12 oh. hours ago. But no body? Not yet. We should get going. Mm. 
They went down the path here. Cracking these days. All right, I get. <laughs> well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean, after the bar fight, I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you... That's his special talent. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. Still ain't sure about that. Tracks lead into the forest here. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. <laughs> ah, you seen a strange sort of feller? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? We both better get out of here. Come in! You stay there. Where is Trelawney? I don't know anything. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin. Over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. I felt that one. All right. I should do it. Come on, let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. Yeah! You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learned that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. 
I guess that's his special talent. Keeping fish on the line. Must be it. Easy. Oh, let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that oh. shack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Uh, uh, is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Okay, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Sons of bitches. They've gone into the cornfields. We need to flush them out. Look at the birds. Go that way. One more, Charles! Dump his gear. Look around. You can't have gone far.
Keep looking, Arthur. He must be close. Keep searching. He's around here somewhere. Take him. Let me get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. <laughs> for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery fella. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. <laughs> Guess we'll soon find... Now. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Ah, uh, I hope you're right. Mr. Trelawney, where are you? Over here, dear boy. Well, he's still here at least. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunter. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't. Looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon. Looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. There always seems to be more. More and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but well, even that ain't the way I remember it.
Morning. Hello. Hello again. Good lord. It can't be worth it. Thanks, partner. Okay, boy. Looking to sell your wares or buy some of the finest meat to ever grace this town? some money. Sure. Well, thank you. Say, say, where you from? Around. <laughs> Ain't from right here. Yeah, I was you I'd leave. This town lost its goddamn soul a long time ago. <laughs> Nothing but nasty, miserable people. Yeah? Yeah, ever since them, them greys moved here. A bunch of no-good white trash. Yeah, they, they somehow got rich. About 50 years ago, they moved here, caused a whole heap of trouble. Yeah, they reckon they was, reckon they was Yankee spies during the war and everything. That's so. Yeah, sure. Howdy. Well, this town is tired of you giving us hell. I ain't looking for trouble, I assure you. Mm-hmm. First time here, I think. Horse brushes and medicine in the corner over there. If you're the sort who needs that kind of thing. Oh, uh, okay, sorry. I just assumed you couldn't read. Another? Here. Fine. Here. No need to bluff. You want one of those little dolls, don't you? Always running out of that. Fine. 
Yep. That should be good. Ain't no surprise to me no more. Anything else? Bye. Back again? Happy to have you. So, what are you in the market for? Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. Good to see. Well, if that gun ain't shining, glad you take care of what's yours. That gun seems to be well taken care of. Got some nice parts for that gun, you know. Well, if that gun ain't shining, glad you take care of what's yours. That gun seems to be well taken care of. Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. Good to see. Well, if that gun ain't shining, glad you take care of what's yours. I could put some sights on that if you're interested. Hey, you know, that gun could use a few choice parts. Really make a sing. I cannot believe the Braithwaite's would sink so low as to burn the You have to.
Let's go, boy. 